to start. This is so weird. I haven't done a vlog in a very, very long time. Actually, the very first vlog I have ever done was about eight years ago. Um, we just moved here from a very, very small town to the big city life. While I was there, I was always the type of kid that would do like blogs or do videos or do vlogs or just, you know, have fun and be creative. So when I got here, I was like, you know, this is going to be my big break. I'm actually, you know, channeling my inner 2015 YouTuber life. And I made my very first um, vlog when I think I was in school for like two weeks. Very much new girl trying to figure out who I should hang out with, who I should not be associated with. And just, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, typical high, um, high school life. And um, I remember this like yesterday. I sat in English, the third row from the front. And um, there was this guy this boy at the time um turning around and he's like so what are you doing on like friday or saturday and i was like i'm, I'm not really doing anything like i'm still new like what do i even say to you and he's like you know um i'm throwing a party <laughs> if you're like keen to go and i'm like oh well i i'll let you know because obviously i was so used to being like asking my parents like listen can i go to this party can i do this can i do this but here it's just like you just go, which is just, oh, just love it. But in any case, long story short, went home, told them all about this, and they're like, no, you have to go. And I was like, no, my social anxiety, it, it, it can't, like, I can't. Literally went, got a whole new outfit because I'm one of those people. I remember sitting, um, or I remember getting ready, and I was like, today, today I'm going to make a huge video about this, you know, and I did this whole get ready with me. I had like super bob hair and the curls were just not it. And I remember wearing like this blue top and I was like, I got it from here and here and here. And this boy invited me to a party and I just, I was just, ugh, it was just terrible. Um, so I made a whole vlog about that. Nobody knew about me. Um, nobody knew that I had a YouTube channel whatsoever. And went to the party, came back, made some new friends. And I think I dropped that video at the end of the week and by literally, I don't know, somehow somebody in my class ended up finding that video and it was just, it just, you know. And then I stopped because I was just like not feeling it anymore. And I actually wanted to have high quality videos and here I am recording it on my Nokia or my Blackberry. I can't remember. Or like, oh, I had that, those mini Nikon cameras that I used to take everywhere with me. Um, and we used to go on like holidays with friends and I would take it with them and be like, oh, mini vlog, you know, whatever to One Direction songs. And um, yeah, like I said, I just eventually stopped. And now this year is actually the year that I'm getting back into vlogging. Um, not necessarily to create cool and authentic content. I think I just basically want a place where I can dump all my memories because I don't necessarily want to post everything on TikTok. I want to place like, like post longer-ish videos and just talk you through it because I have so many videos that I actually talk through shit and I just never get to post it so yeah so here i am so this year i'm gonna commit to making like 52 videos um one for each week whether it's like a lazy week whether it's like going to like three festivals in one week whatever um i'm gonna try to create so much content and so much memories and just document it all on youtube so um i love how i wanted to get ready but i decided just to give you guys a rundown on the first ever time I made a YouTube video. Also, a um, bit more about tonight, I'm going out with a friend who just recently started, don't judge my makeup tutorial, who recently started working, his proper nine to five. Um, so we're grabbing some drinks. Um, and yeah, that's basically my weekend. I have so much holiday, so much leave days until I have to go back to work. So I'm literally taking everything with me. Um, I also need to still record a podcast. I'm starting an all motorsports inspired podcast and um, that needs to be dropped. It's called Every Other, Sun Every Other Sunday and it will be dropped on Sunday, but it's Friday now. So maybe next week, we'll know, but I'm going to commit. I am going to commit, but um, yeah, so. Have a few friends coming over tonight uh we're gonna do, oh, do we're gonna play some board games 
Um, the house is extremely messy, but you know what? It's, it's one of those things at this point. So I have about an hour to get ready, um, but I need to make food because I am very, very hungry. So when in doubt, pumpkin fritters it out. Also, I got my nails done. It's so pretty, which is very unlike me. I don't usually do pink, but now I'm doing pink, so whatever. Um, so yeah, making some pumpkin fritters for dinner and for your judge. Yes, this is my only dinner that I'm having. So. That's my dog, Peaches. Peach, come say hi. Pizzo, Pizzo, Pizzo. Come say hi, don't lay down. Oh, okay. Come, come, come. Say hi to the camera. She's just like, no. Anyways, basically, I went out last night, like I said yesterday. I went out last night, got home about. Didn't go home, slept over in Sunabosh. And we just basically went for some a few drinks, like a few of them. A few of them. And I passed that on the sofa. I was just tap out. This is not it. So um yeah, then got my nail appointment at 10 this morning, which got moved to a later stage because I was like, yes. Just as I needed it. Um I'm also reading this book, trying to finish this book. Which is so good, by the way. It's this year I went um, outside to tan the other day. And I was like, mm, I need something to read. Grabbed it off my shelf because a friend lent it to me. When I tell you, this book, this book is really good. Um, and then we're going to start reading A Little Life next week, Monday, for our book club. So, fun. <laughs> Gabby? <laughs> Actually, never mind. I have a little sticky thing for this, but oh well. Um, so I have a few things that I need to get done today, and it, I'm just purely doing it because I've been putting it off for so long. Um, starting with sorting out my bookshelf i've just finished my book um or this one book called the love hypothesis and i feel like my bookshelf is just being overwhelming at the moment um so i kind of need to sort that out i still don't know how i'm going to reorganize it am i going to reorganize it by author because i'm very like particular when it comes to certain authors that i read um whether i'm going to reorganize it by author or by color or by my red pile my half red pile or my two read pile because this year we're kind of like doing this whole book club challenge thing um where each month we pick a book and we finish it and do like a mini like review on it but um last year i set myself up on goodreads for like 24 books like a 24 book challenge which is like twice like two a month i think i read like 13 books in total last year which is not bad um, and it ex excludes fan fiction books because we, we were into that life. Wattpad has been pulling through. I am not lying. So um, our first book of February, of February, look at me already in February. Our first book of Jan is A Little Life, which I'm so nervous about, but I still need to figure out how I'm going to like annotate it. And my desk and everything is just all over the place. And I need to start organizing that and be starting to read that book tomorrow. And I can't read it if nothing in my life is organized and just very much OCD. I bought like a bunch of sticky note stuff because I really like annotating books. Where's another book that I annotate? Oh, hi Peach. So I still need to finish this one. It's obviously Surviving to Drive. Uh, I started this book, um, but I still haven't quite managed to finish, ooh, to finish it yet. It's, so this is going in my to be continued pile but my most like annotated book at the moment is slammed by colleen hoover if you have not read that book i kid you not it is the most underrated book that i've ever read in my life and it is such a good book i've literally read all three of her um 
the series because it's obviously it's slammed a point of retreat and this goal i didn't really read this goal it wasn't like that inviting as the first two but the first two probably my most favorite books i've ever read in my life and i've read quite a lot um so if you haven't read it do yourself a favor it's probably one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books I know there's a lot of like controversy around her but I mean I just love her writing style so that is definitely one of my most annotated books and I kid you not it looks like the rainbow it's oh, it's the most satisfying thing ever but um yeah so I actually want to get into annotating and with a little life like there's a lot happening and the font is like 0. Point whatever. so I'm quite nervous but yeah, I still need to figure it out. I've watched a few TikToks on how to kind of annotate this, but I still don't really know how to. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and figure that out and also just sorting out my journals because I have a lot of notebooks. As a kid, I was always the person that would like to collect stationery or notebooks or whatnot. Um, and this year, I actually want to get into journaling. Actually started journaling. Where is that book? Let me actually get that. I had to bring other books for reference. So obviously, here you can see this was Verity. That wasn't a lot. Um, usually I divide them in by like quotes or um, those moments that you kick your leg up, legs up in the air and be like... Um, quotes, character moments. Usually these ones at the top are like my favorite pages. Um, and then yeah, some of them are random. Some of them are actually planned. Then obviously Heartburns. This one is completely planned. Um, this was my favorite book from her before I read Slammed. So, yeah, so obviously favorite pages, the pink ones. I can't remember what the pink, wait. Um, pink ones are just like random moments in the book. So blue moments, I think, were quotes, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, blue ones were quotes. Damaged people recognize other damaged people. Um, green ones were cute moments of like... <laughs> you know and then what were the yellow ones yellow ones were i can't remember i think it was just oopsie moment i can't remember what the other ones were but any case so um that was that so i mean, i like my colorful books i just need to sort this out because it's just very uneven i can't deal then i have a lot of notebooks like i kid you not there's a whole oh, there's a whole like mountain so these are my new ones so the one I'm actually using for my hosting. So this year I'm going to focus more on like hosting F1 races. Um, you know, for each Grand Prix, if there's a Mexican Grand Prix, do like a Mexican spread, a Mexican table, whatnot. So I kind of want to combine my love for, for hosting and my love for the sport all together um, and focus more on that because I feel like also on TikTok, my hosting and Formula One videos do the best. So. Might as well just combine them. So double exposure. And then I have two more no new notebooks. And another one that I started using was this one, which is going to be my journal. Uh, I still need to like to bedazzle it front to back because this white is not going to last a whole year. Um, started with this. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's new. So journal page, first journal page, New Year's Day. We did like a plat spread, meet at midnight. Um, we ate grapes under a table. Don't judge us, okay? Don't judge us. And then obviously, on the 1st of Jan, we actually went to watch Anyone But You, Chef's Kisses. So, and obviously a few Taylor Swift references in there as well. So, that's that. Um, and then I just have all these to sort through and more. There's more. And more. I have so many. And more. I'm just going to start piling all of them here because there's just a lot to work through. I kid you not, I have so many. And this is just half of them. So love, love, love these books. Um, and that's not even what's underneath my bed. So my, my life is very unorganized at this very stage. Um, so we're gonna start organizing that today and just figuring out everything for the new year. I should have done this probably like last year, heading into the new year, but um, guess, we, guess we're here now. So uh, here. Yeah.